We're gonna learn how to paint this pier in watercolor. We're gonna use wet into wet technique and also learn how to use the two brush to create a texture. This is the simple drawing. The first thing what we're gonna do, let's use this number 12 round brush. It's very soft. We're gonna use wet in wet process, starting from the light side and gradually turn into the dark side. And after you dry, we can do some adjustment. Okay, we know how to mix color. Uh, for the green color, we can use the yellow color with the blue. The yellow color I'm using right now is Windsor yellow, and the blue color I use uh, Prussian blue. And I'm gonna use maybe a little bit more yellow. And I'm gonna use a little bit more water. So now, you can make it a little lighter. And I'm gonna start from this side, right? Uh, so I leave the stem, the stem darker, so that you don't need to either actually leave uh, the gap for that. Sometimes some white space, we need to leave the gap. But if the thing is darker, then the color that you are putting in, you don't have to. If you want to do wet and wet in the process, you need to go faster. Uh, because now it's a little bit lighter, so I can put a little bit more water into it. Now I'm going to start. You pink after you look, okay? Have to go a little bit faster. I'm going to keep mixing color as I'm, I'm putting the color. Now getting a little bit darker and a way darker. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a little bit more blue into this color. I will see the color a little bit darker now. And coming down to the bottom, do you see that, that all the color on the paper wet why I'm adding colors, right? And you can make some adjustment. We're gonna do that in the next step. I'm gonna get more blue, more, more blue, and also the color should be a little warmer too. It's not so bright. See, this is the leftover uh, red color. You can use it. Now, it look a little bit darker. Now, come here. Now, I'm gonna make a little turn, even darker, so I'm gonna get a little bit more red. A little bit more blue. Now the color is pretty dark, so I'm gonna come to this side. Look before you paint. Okay, and now is the first round that we have for this. And we're gonna let the color dry and before we come to do some adjustment. But before that, do a little lifting. If we do the lifting, we can make the color a little bit lighter. See that? Just lift the color up a little bit lighter. We're gonna wait until it dry. It has texture over here. We don't like those texture. We're gonna remove it. How can we remove it? Before. We need a big brush, right? Second thing, those color over here need to be a little bit darker, a little bit more green. So we're gonna add the color in here. And also at the same time, we are going to finish the catch the shadow. And also putting a little color on the top over here and finish that. Let's go to the next step. So what we're gonna do, uh, let's do the catch the shadow first, okay? And then we come back over here to fix it. So first thing, this is a neutral color, but it's mostly look a little bit more bluish. So I'm gonna have a little blue color, right? I'm gonna first have this first layer. Let's see where it's going. Make a little soft and maybe a little bit red so that color is not so bright. This is how easy to mix the gray color. Now coming over here. Now on the edge, we want to clean the brush and soften it. Right? How easy that you can make it a little lighter. So you have a gradual change. So otherwise, this shape will look like a piece of cardboard if you don't make it soft, right? The car, we need to soften the edge like that. That's good, the outside. Now inside here, need to be darker. So why are the colors still wet? So we use the wet and wet 
we're going to add a little red color into here. Okay, we're going to put this color right here. Now make it a little darker. Just the red and the blue colors. Here you go. We're going to make it a little darker. Right here. Like that. And the color in the water is going to travel because the whole area is wet. Over here, we're going to do, we're going to clean the brush and make the color a little bit less wet. It is less water. Now, because under here is always look darker because this area is not much light to get into that and so there's almost no uh, reflected light get into that area either, like that. So very dark. So I'm going to get even make a little darker, a little blue, as yes, a little red. Okay, right under here, I'm going to make it really dark, like that. That's good. Now we catch the shadow. It's finished. Except I want to make this a little bit lighter too. Let this soften the edge like that. Okay, now I'm going to pay the attention back to the main objects. What I want to do now this time I'm going to use this one inch flat brush. A very soft and you can see it's very easy to change I modified it after you have the first layer. I'm going to take this color and mix with the blue color. Let's take a look. A little yellow color. Oh, this is good. Actually, that's good for this side. So I'm going to do this again on top of that. After I move this, on top of the surface and the color is will be softened. I don't need that much color so I use a little bit more water and actually I'm going to blend over the highlight that we try to create it. Okay, here you go. Now the texture is softer now but you need to use the bigger brush otherwise the color even have more texture. Now let's see, we have a little more, a little bit more green color over here. See, it's darker, like this. And here I have a little bit, and moving, here you go. Look before you do, so that you can see what color is it. How much is the three colors in the mixture? and also uh, how dark is that color. Now I'm going to change back to the round brush because that area is a little bit smaller. So I'm going to mix a little darker color. This darker color is still the three color together. And I'm going to have a little bit yellow, not a lot, a little bit yellow. I have a little bit more red. Okay, here we go. This color pretty dark. So I'm going to look at it and here. And over here too. Like this. Now we need to have it blend together. So I'm going to come back to actually better to use this. I'm going to let go some of the water. And we mix the colors. I wanted to have the big brush blended together a little bit better. Okay, here we go. Actually, this is, looks really nice already. So I'm going to have this blend over to the edge over here. We have it blend together. I think it's pretty good. So I'm going to have a little bit blue color. I think it's a little bit more blue color over here. I'm going to put it there. A little bit blue colors and with yellow. I'm going to fill in the gap over here. Like that. 
Okay, now we're gonna work in the top. For the top, I'm gonna use this, have a little brown color. Now this is the brown color, maybe I need a little bit yellow, too much red, okay. I need to have a little water. Get a little bit red, okay, that's the color. For the top here, okay, where is it? It's right here. I'm gonna put thing in brown color right here. All right? So you do the details only after you control all the big relationship. The big color, how they transition, the round color, the color from light to dark, you have to have that finished before you come in here to do this details. Okay, now I have that color here, and also continue with the same color. I'm gonna add a little texture over here on edge over here. A bit, keep a little, like that. And let's see what else I'm gonna do. This is still wet, so I'm gonna have that, keep that first. Keep it a little bit brown colors. The color can be less water so that it's not going to bleed around that much. And maybe a couple over here. And now we're gonna walk into the stem. Okay, the stem, we're gonna start from a little lighter and then add a little darker and darker colors. Okay. The blue color, a little red color, and a little yellow color. I already have some yellow over here. Okay, ready? Now I'm gonna start over here. Decided not to make it so long. Coming down. Slowly have it coming down. Down right here. It's almost there. And I want some color, a little bit even darker, so I'm going to have a little bit more blue and a little bit red. A little bit blue. Now I'm gonna have it a little bit over here on this side, a little bit darker because that's the shadow side. Like this. That will be leave it the last step for the final texture. We have to make sure that everything dry. I think everything dry now. We need to mask the area that we don't want the texture to go in. Now, I'm gonna use my tube brush. What exactly those color? Look like a dark brown color, right? It's dark brown color. How can we make the dark brown color? Get the blue, right? We already have the blue over here. And we need okay. some red color. Like mm. that. Yeah, but a little bit too dark. Yellow, yellow or green. Yeah, we can make some yellow color in here. Maybe a little bit more red. So almost like you have all the ingredients together. Now we are going to mix this together. A little bit more red. Like that. Okay. That's good. This the color probably good. Let's try it. It's important we don't want to splash into outside of this area. Ready?
Last thing we can do is to soften the edge one more time. Soften the edge. And now this painting is completed. I'd like to introduce our learning community to you. All members can access to enjoying art workshops and collections of lessons. Paint With Me members can download the full-size reference photos for a better learning experience. VIP members can join the private Facebook group to actively share discussions of our learning and experiences of like-minded artists. Gold members can receive advice directly from me and receive video critiques and suggestions of your work. Please check below for the link to join us. We're waiting for you to become part of our Enjoying Art learning community.